Hi guys, so I have a review for you on uni wigs. They sent me a wig for review purposes. It's a synthetic wig and it's in a blonde macadamia color. I really wanted to try something outside of the box, something that would make me look completely different from what I look like. So I thought that this would be a lot of fun. They do have uh, different styles uh, compared to a lot of different sites. I feel like they have such a awesome range. Definitely follow them on their Instagram. I will link it down below. They have such a good range of different shades. If you're looking for something especially like fun and trendy, they have some called the trendy wigs that you can have pink, purple, gray hair. They're just absolutely amazing. I just love looking at their Instagram because there's just like so many fun colors and they're always doing like giveaways and they're always doing different kind of sales. So I would definitely follow them on Instagram because that would be your best bet for getting a nice wig on sale. So I'm going to go through the one that they sent me. This is more of their kind of more natural looking line. They do have real hair and then they also have synthetic hair so you can definitely look through their website and I will link their website down below. This is the line that is called the Love of It. So that's what it looks like right there and it came in a box, kind of like a shoe box, nice and sealed. And I was super impressed by the quality of this, especially for being synthetic hair. It's really, really nice. And they also sent me a brush. So I don't know if each wig comes with a brush, but I would definitely recommend getting one of these just because it really helped as far as styling and being able to brush it. I do feel like you need one of these wig brushes. And of course, you need one of these little wig caps as well. So you can wash and condition these and also, you know, different styles and that kind of stuff. As far as the synthetic one, it does recommend that you do not use heat products such as curling irons and hot rollers and things like that just to avoid because it is synthetic hair you know avoid any kind of mishaps with the wig itself oh so i am going to list the wig that i got down below it's called carrie and it's in the shade macadamia so it is a blonde and this is what it looks like right here i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like it is a blonde hair and like as you can see it is synthetic and i do like the fact that it has kind of like the deeper roots and it is a full lace so it is completely on the inside and you do have to measure your head. That was something that I had no idea what whatsoever because I have never used wigs. I've used extensions, but I've never had a full on wig. So I did not know that you do measure like the whole inner rim of your head and then there are different sizes available. So that was something new that I did not know about. And yeah, so this is really cool. It does feel really sturdy and it's nicely made. Everything in there is really, really put together really nicely as you can see the whole lace on the inside and it's super super comfortable as well when I was wearing it so I had no issues whatsoever there the the wig itself came parted kind of like to the side but I am someone who kind of um, does not wear my hair that way so I just felt like the bangs just did not flow well around my face so I did go ahead and style it a little bit differently than they have it online just because you know each person has a different kind of frame of their face and things like that so everything's not going to work the same for everyone so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the way i put this on and the way i like styling it so you need a little wig cap like this and what they recommend is for you to open it like this and then bring it on your head and this is going to look a little crazy for a for a minute there and then what i like to do is just push it all the way to like my forehead and then bring it up and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck my hair around so I do tuck my hair all the way around and then tuck this one around this way so I'm just literally just pushing it into the netting itself so that way it's nice and tucked underneath and that way none of your real hair is like peeking through especially if you have long hair Right now I just chopped off a lot of my hair so I don't have that kind of issue. So, and then you can leave your ears in or out depending on how you like styling it. I'm just gonna leave my little elf ears out. <laughs> and I do like kind of really framing this around my whole forehead. I do kind of leave my little widow's peak out so that way it can look a little bit more real. 
and then I extend this out and then just bring it down. So there I have it. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the brush and brush through it right here. And it's nice and brushed. And then I really like kind of just bringing it forward here like that. You're going to have to excuse me for a little while. I'm going to look a little crazy. But you do want to bring it down to the nape of your neck and then kind of fix it around your face. And then if you wanted to, you could pull out hair, like your own natural hair, especially if it has like the dark roots like this one does. It does look better if you have like the... Um, your natural hair kind of like peeking out from underneath so that would just be a preference as you can see there I can just go ahead and accommodate it and I do have a picture with this on on my Instagram and that's what it looks like just on its own as you can see there it's not really kind of like my style so one of the things that I really liked was being able to bring it back so I just kind of took it, or took the bangs, just a chunk of them, and just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural, I clipped it in, and then just kind of like brought it up. And let me go ahead and fix this. So, and then there are little clips that you can buy or put in just to kind of like help it stay in place especially around the sides and then just kind of accommodate it around your forehead and there so let me know what you guys think I know I have really really dark black natural eyebrows but I really like the way this kind of looked especially with the dark roots I feel like it kind of looks okay with my dark eyebrows let me know what you guys think but I thought that this was a lot of fun my husband was like thank god that that's a wig I would freak out if you like dyed your hair blonde but let me know what you guys think I really absolutely love this I think that this is so much fun just to go out and do something different I feel like if you want to just play around with different colors especially they have so many trendy fun wigs they're like pink and purple and gray and a lot of times like if you're in a professional line of work they won't allow you to wear fun colors like that which is such a shame because to me that has nothing to do with professionalism so I would love to do pink and purple and things like that but I work at a hospital and they don't consider that to look professional so it's not something that I'm able to do so I love 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 the fact that they have these wigs and you can do something so much fun so this is what it looks like all the way it's almost like uh, almost I would say mid-length hair and I think it's so much fun and you could do all kinds of little hairdos and put different clips in it and things like that and like I said you can play around with like bringing your own hair out as well and just like making it um, blend into the wig itself so let me know what you guys think as far as the wig what do you guys think as far as it being synthetic hair do you like it do you feel like it looks real I just love the volume that it gives me and I love being able to do this little poof because with my natural hair I can never do this little hairstyle so this is a lot of fun and a lot of fun to just switch up and be a blonde for a day and things like that this is what it looks like from the back right there. So as you can see, it looks really, really natural. You don't see any of my natural hair peeking out. It doesn't look like way too exaggerated as far as hair goes. So let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your opinion on these. Uh, do you think that these are a lot of fun? They have a lot of the trendy, a lot of fun colored ones on sale right now. So I would definitely look into that if you're looking for like really fun wigs, even if it's for Halloween or just to change up your hairstyle. I think that these are so, so much fun. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Let me know 
know what you guys think. Uh, leave it down below. Let me know if you guys like me as a blonde or if you guys want to see more reviews on wigs and things like that. I'd love to hear your opinion. Thank you guys as always for watching, for supporting my channel. I love you guys. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that little red button down below. Love you guys and until next time.